YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Atlantean Chronicles. We come at the precipice of greatness upon the high seas. I honestly do not know where I'm going with this. But, as always, before we hop into today's lovely, lovely product, I shall require you, yes you, to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want, feel free to share the video. Share the love. Where is the love? Anyway, whatever. Hey, 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 ho, oh, hey, RCG from the future here. And I'd just like to say a huge shout out to Rock Pekovnik. Thank you so much for becoming the channel's newest patron. Um, if you do want to help support RCG in this endless crusade of buying old product and slowly burning my wallet alive, links are down below in the description for YouTube channel membership and Patreon. But once again, huge shout out. Thank you so much for joining the crew. Look forward to making some content with you. Oh, that rhymed. Anyway, back to past me's, whatever I was talking about at this point in time. See ya. Let's go ahead and hop right into today's product. Dun 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 Atlantean Prince? Aha, oh it did cut. Alright, let's get into this. Um, so for those of you who are unfamiliar, in this magical 2016 Kaiba Megaton, there lies an Atlantean Prince. That's literally our only target in this tin. Um, besides that, everything else is a bonus. For you see, humble viewer, he's only got, Atlantean Prince only got two printings, in Breakers of Shadow and in the Megatins. So, our options are very limited to where we can actually pick them up. Both options are quite difficult to get. The Breakers of Shadows packs are hard to get. These Megatins are hard to find at a reasonable price, which I can fit within my budget, so we're just opening the tin for today. But we do have a Secret Rare Obelisk the Tormentor. We do have a Ultra Rare Blue Eyes Red Dragon. An Ultra Rare Blue Eyes Spirit Red Dragon. A Super Rare DDD Gish King Alexander. A Super Rare Aether the Evil Empowering Dragon. And a Super Rare Ghost Swagger and Snow Rabbit, which he actually can quite use, yes. This is playable. Um, yeah. Now, the hunt for the ultra rare begins. Drumarilla, keeper of the shrine. Uh, Fuzzy Lanis, raid raptors. If you know, you know. Primitive butterfly. Super heavy samurai thief. Fight for fact. Oops, I already dragged out a kaiju. That's actually pretty cool. Radiant's a pretty cool pickup. Um, my right, galaxy is full on a photon dragon and, oh my god, Buster Blader, the Destruction Swordsman. Jar of Avarice is a secret, not using it, unfortunately. Dynamis Charge, Magic Spectre Tempest, Salvin Galilee, Frank and Derp, uh, Dusk Bolts, Shurinity Synthesis. I mean, we got a Kaiju, that's cool, I guess. I suppose. Alright. Balance of Judgment. Blowtorch. Humid Winds. Camelum. Fright for Factory. Desk Walk for Perform Bell's second donkey. Donkey! Yeah. Oh, Magic Spectre. Necromata. And please, 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 please. It is a monster. Gosh! Darn it. Charging Guy of the Fierce Knight. Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon as our secret. Dark Contract of the Wiz. Friggin' Derp. Bad Luck Blast. Magic Specter QB. Uh, Sonics and Kaiju Capture Mission. Okay, okay, please, please, please. We have one last pack to kind of save ourselves. I mean, we got two cards, but. Blizzard Draw. A gauntlet. Blowtorch. Soul Horns. Camel Up. Fright for Factory, Reject Reborn. Another Galaxy Eyes, full armor photon dragon. Okay. We'll put you here. We'll put you down here. Our secret rare, and we'll save the secret rare towards the end as well. 
Super Heavy Samurai Magnet. Hamar Tand of Dust. Psychic Blade, Ceratops, Following. Wild Vulture. Okay. Here we go. Secret Rare is Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon. Cool. Don't need you. What I do need is a. Not you. Damn it. Dimensional kaiju and a ghost over. Oof. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That tin was not easy to get. There are not many of them out there for a reasonable price. But I mean, hey, at least we're guaranteed a Ghost Ogre, so we've increased our hand trap number. The Radiant, the Kaiju, I mean, that does kind of help with the inner... I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It's not the best of openings, but look, considering how the deck list looks, it's not terrible either. So we're just gonna have to work with it, roll with the punches, and go straight into the duel for today. Alright, so we're only going to have one match for today's episode, and we are going up against JChip from the JChip Show, who's brought Exo Sisters, the new art, one of the new archetypes from Grand Creators. Unfortunately, um, we don't open that great, um, but we are able to stick in it and disrupt plays, luckily having hand drops, and going into Ravnus Crocodragon. Um, we do lose it, however, we are able to clear the board and give us a chance to come back. We are uh, drawing a lot of hand traps, so <laughs> I mean we can stop plays, but realistically we need a play start like um, Gen X Undying to get at least something to set up for next turn. The Deep Sea Diva is a really important add for us. Um, it's just a matter of surviving, and when we finally bring out our Diva, it gets hit with an infinite impermanence. It is in such an impermanent, so that's highly unfortunate that we really needed that to get our plays to go through. Um, hopefully though we can make the comeback in the next game. So game number three, we uh, have some terrible luck, but luckily J-Chip does too as well. So our humble you said pass actually does see us through. And you know, having a lost wind in the back row is not terrible. We do lose our call by the grave, thanks to the continuous spell for Exo Sisters. And once again, our Deep Sea Diva gets hit by an infinite impermanence. Cannot catch a break. Third time's a charm, though. This time, though, we're trying to switch around so we can get the XC's monster, but our um, Deep Sea Artisan gets called by the grave after we try to surface. We are able to keep our Genator Transversor on field thanks to Titanocider and Imperm again. Luckily, though, we sink in some damage, and we actually keep both monsters on field, so we sink in a little bit more. Normal summon our Heavy Infantry, and we have a 3 material Appaloosa, which gets hit with an Imperm. Okay, we got this. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Um, we veil her the level 4, and then luckily with the summon of the Exo Sister um, Exceeds Monster, that gets us both our Lost Wind and our Titanicide are out. But it is a top deck war, and we are running out of life points pretty quick. How luckily we were able to slow it down for a bit, and actually the top deck of Dragoons is just what we needed to sink in for the win. We go into the final game of today's match and talk about hand traps. <laughs> I mean, it's great that we have so many hand traps, but the problem is we don't really have anything to capitalize on the D.Va yet. This is why we need Prince, so that even on first turn, Deep Sea D.Va is a great normal summon. But it is also a hand trap magnet and an imperm magnet, which does really suck. Um, we do flip our Ghost Ogre to try to use as interruption, but unfortunately it just gets beaten over. We go for the Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend to clean up the field and take the game, but unfortunately... It's met with an ogre, and that actually uh, sums up the match. Hand traps galore. We lose that one, but all in all, we take it. We did take a win, and we move to improve. So, so close. That was actually a really good match. Um, game number three was a very interesting one, to say the least. <laughs> and, oh, man... Deep Sea Diva this seems to be have a real target on her head. Um, we're going to need to continue to look for more consistency boosters to help 
make sure that we don't fully rely on just Diva to get our plays started. We're still looking for that prince. We are still looking for that Atlantean prince. As well, along with other things, we have a lot of other targets that we're still hunting down, but no one said this is going to be easy, although I feel like I've said that more times than I'd like to count for this series. But that, unfortunately, or fortunately, no, it's a good, we're going to leave it on a high note. That was a good match. So even though we lost, that was still a good match. So on that note, we are going to conclude for today. So thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next episode.